In this second tutorial on Google Calendar, we're going to examine how various views in Google Calendar can be used. We'll also take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of working within one view or another. So far, we've done all our work within Monthly View. And we're going to do one more thing in Monthly View. We're going to create a full day event. To do that, we would just click on the day, type in, the information. We won't ask any questions about that. We'll attribute that to our personal calendar and we'll create that event. So if we don't put in a time, Google Calendar presumes that it's an all-day event. And all-day events can be t differentiated from other events, first of all by the fact that there's no time displayed, and secondly by the fact that they're bannered with a solid, solid color in behind. Now let's just take a look at how these events look in a different view. So we'll go to Weekly View. Now first of all, here's that PD day that we created in our first uh, tutorial. And here's the event, the All Day event that we just created. Now what you'll see here is that the day almost appears to be open. So people who work regularly in Weekly View or four-day view often don't care for full-day events because they only appear here at the top of the day and it's easy to mistakenly assume that the day is open. So if we wanted to change that we could simply click on that event. We would uncheck all day and we would go let's say from 8 in the morning till sometime much later in the day and we click Save. And now our event would block off our day in Weekly View and 4-Day View and Daily View. Now to create an event in one of these views we can simply click on the time and we'll notice now that the event entry is somewhat simpler because our time is pre-entered. We'll attribute that one to our personal calendar. Now another advantage of working in daily, weekly, or four-day view is that we can also change the length of events or move events very easily. So if this suddenly was over at 12 noon, we could adjust that event. Oh, I missed it there. Let's try that again by dragging it up. Keep in mind that if uh, we wanted to move an event, it's easy to drag an event over to another day. Or if I had to do this on more than one day, I can click on the event, go copy to my calendar, and change that. Make sure we attribute it again to personal and save. And now we see that we have that event on both those days. Now Weekly View and 4-Day View and Daily View are all quite similar in the way that they behave. One other view that's quite interesting is our Agenda View, which shows us in a very brief way all of the upcoming events that we have planned. Now if we want to simplify that, we can turn off the holidays, turn off our personal events just to see our work events, or turn off our work events just to see our personal events. So those are the views that we have available in Google Calendar. Some views are stronger than others depending on what we want to do. Certainly monthly view gives us a broad overview of what's coming up. Weekly, four-day, and daily view have the ability to see blocks of time within the day which is advantageous for certain other types of events. So that's a brief overview of views within Google Calendar.